Mary Wollstonecraft, 1759-1797, British logician and feminist. Wollstonecraft used to be high quality recognized for her e-book, A Vindication of the Rights of Women, 1792, which was once one of the earliest expositions of the equality of girls and men. Short bio, Mary. Wollstonecraft Mary Wollstonecraft Mary Wollstonecraft used to be born on the 27th of April 1759 in Spitalfields, London. She grew up in a tough household situation. Her father used to be frequently violent and susceptible to drunken moods, specifically after dropping cash in ill-judged investments. Mary spent substantial time searching after her sisters and mothers. However, in 1778, she worn out of home existence and determined to take a job as a lady's associate to Sarah Dawson. This proved a challenging ride as she didn't get on with the historical lady. However, round this time, she grew to become acquainted with Fanny Blood, who performed in vital position in widening Mary's horizons and ideas. The two grew to be very shut and Fanny Blood's premature Loss of life in 1785 was once pretty a shock to Mary. For a while, Mary labored as a governess in a giant Irish family. She had a brain for educating however took a dislike to Lady Kingsborough. 2. Mary, Kingsborough used to be the antithesis of an perfect woman. In Lady Kingsborough, she noticed a female with no actual independence, however specially involved with superficial appearances in beautiful men. Mary later developed her ideas on the thought of a appropriate wife. To be a right mom, a female have to have sense, and that independence of thinking which few ladies possess who are taught to rely completely on their husbands. Meek better halves are, in general, silly mothers, looking their young people to love them best, and take their part, in secret, in opposition to the father, who is held up as a scarecrow. Mary Wollstonecraft, A. Vindication of the Rights of Woman, 1792. This ride fermented a wish to come to be a writer, Mary. Back to London the place she grew to become acquainted with luminaries such as Thomas Paine, William Godwin and Joseph Johnson. In London, she grew to become greater conscious of new lines of political and philosophical ideas. The late 18th century was once in technology of change. The historical divine rights of kings was once being changed with increased belief in human cousin liberty. This sea exchange and attitudes fantastic exemplified by means of the French Revolution. Like many radicals, Mary used to be at the beginning enthused via the French Revolution. In 1790, she wrote an influential pamphlet, Vindication of the Rights of Men, 1790. This sought to shield the ideas of the French Revolution in opposition to Edmund Burke's conservative critique. This helped set up Mary as a main liberal writer. At the time, it used to be uncommon for a female to have such prominence in literary circles. Vindication of the Rights of Women Shortly after the Vindication of the Rights of Men, 1790, Mary wrote a Vindication of the Rights of Women, 1792. This was once groundbreaking work, as it proposed female have been the equal of men. Wollstonecraft contended it used to be solely the lack of schooling for ladies that intended they appeared to be intellectually inferior till female are greater rationally educated the development in human advantage and enchantment in understanding should get hold of chronic checks a vindication of the rights of woman 1792 ch3 she was once exceedingly imperative of the modern day attitudes to women women are systematically degraded by using receiving the trivial attentions which guys suppose it manly to pay to the sex, when, in fact, guys are insultingly aiding their very own superiority. A Vindication of the Rights of Woman, 1792. CH3. 
Such arguments had been radical for the time. Even liberal authors didn't wholeheartedly agree with its arguments and beliefs. After its publication, Mary visited innovative Paris. However, the state of affairs rapidly deteriorated, Louis XVI was once guillotined and the revolution grew to be an increasing number of repressive. In Paris, she fell madly in love with an American, Gilbert Imlay. Together they had an illegitimate daughter. When Britain and France declared combat on every other, Mary wanted the safety of acting to be married to an American too. Forestall her being arrested. Together they had a child, Fanny. However, the relationship grew in increasing number of difficult, as Gilbert proved to fall nicely quick of Mary's romantic ideal. Overcome with grief, they broke up and Mary lower back to England. On returning to London, she tried to commit suicide in despair at the failed relationship, she additionally skilled depressive moods in the course of her life. However, the strive failed, and she was once rescued from the River Thames through a passing man. Mary Wollstonecraft and William Godwin after slowly convalescing from the depths of depression, Mary restarted her literary profession and come to be romantically concerned with William Godwin. Mary grew to be pregnant and the two determined to get married. Tragically, Mary died in childbirth, even though her daughter, Mary Godwin, survived and went on to come to be the creator of Frankenstein and spouse of Percy Shelley. After her death, William Godwin posted her memoirs which proved pretty surprising to society. People have been now not relaxed with the unorthodox and free-living mind set of Mary Wollstonecraft. Even in the late Victorian suffragette movement, Mary Wollstonecraft used to be given a low profile, as her existence sat uncomfortably with Victorian attitudes. However, by means of the 20th century,